Hello everyone. We are from Group A. My name is Arya Nurul Hidayah. My student number is zero equal, and my partner. Okay, my name is Muhammad Farhan. We are always student number zero seven nine. So today we are going to do lesson practice in this video. So let's check it out. Good morning, student. Good morning, sir. How's life? Um, very well, thank you. So, first lesson today? No. Oh, that's great. Okay, students, so before we start our lesson today, we will we pray together. Okay, I will lead you to pray. So, open your heart and open your mind and listen carefully to me. Okay, pay attention, please. Let's pray together. Pray with me. Gracious God, we want to study today. Open our heart and mind so we can study well. Carry our teacher to teach us patiently and keep us away from any distraction. Help us to pay attention to the teacher's explanation and to listen to them. God, make us good students. Stay with us, God, until the class is over. Amen. Pray finished? Okay, student. Today we are going to discuss about circle. So, at the end of the lesson, I hope that all of you, all of students, can first understand about body circle and can know about the part of circle and second is student can carry out calculation involving the area and circumference of circle and the third one is student can carry out calculation involving the art and sector so where the time let's start with what is circle okay i'm sure that all of you know about the circle right um, can you mention what is object that has circular shape? Plate. Plate, okay. And then? Watermelon. Watermelon, correct. And then? Ball. Ball, that's good. Exactly. Okay. I'm sure that all of you have known about this concept of circle, but I'm not sure that all of you know about the definition of the circle, right? Right. Okay. We move to the definition of circle. Circle is a set of points that has the same length to the center point. So if we have this center point and we have any point at this circle, so circle is the set of point that has the same distance to the center point. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. We're going to discuss about part of circle. The first part is center point. Okay, the center point is the point that located in the center of a circle. In this picture, the center point is O or point O. And then we have diameter. What is diameter? For example, I have point A in this and I have point B, is it? And the diameter is like the joint A and B, but to the center point. Okay, the right line is the diameter. And then we have radius. What is radius? Radius is distance between the center point to any point in the circle. For example, I have point B, and uh, I have point B on circle, and the radius is distance from point O to the point B or yes this the right line is radius okay we know that radius is half of diameter so we can write or we can say that diameter is, is 2 times R okay. so we know about the part of circle we will discuss about the circumference and area of a circle so first one is circumference what is circumference? Circumference is a distance around the boundaries of a circle. This, this space of this boundary is circumference. And then we have area. What is area? Area is region plane that bounded by the circumference. And this area is wet. And the circumference is violet. Okay. Do you get it? Yes. Okay. Let me tell you first about the definition of this symbol. Okay, so actually, 
pi is the ratio between circle parents of a circle and its diameter. So, since pi is ratio, so pi is the element of the set of irrational number. So, you can say that pi is 3.14 or 227. However, the 3.14 or 227 is just approximately number or approximately value. Okay? After we know about pi, let's move to the formula of circumference and area of a circle. Okay, we have known that pi is ratio between circumference or we can use abbreviation C for circumference over diameter. diameter. We can use D as abbreviation for diameter. Multiply this side by D and this side by D too. So since we have D and D, we can eliminate this and we have D times D equal C. So the formula of circumference is D times P or pi times D. It is interchangeable. Okay, since we know that D is 2 times R, we can write like 2 R pi is equal to C. And so for the circumference, we have two formulas. The first one is diameter times P and the second one is 2 or pi. Okay, after the circumference, we have the formula of area of a circle. Or we can just write the abbreviation of area, that is A, equal P times R squared. Like this. Okay, so then I have two circles here and find the circumference and area of following circles. So the first circle is fine, and your task is to calculate this circle. Okay, first of all, I will give you an example for this. We have r equals to okay, 25 centimeter. Okay, student, it is permissible for you to write down the answer in the form of P. It's okay for me. And you don't need to multiply it by 3.14 or 27. No, you don't need it. So, after we have circumference, we have to find the area, the area of the circle. Okay, this is the circumference and this is the area. Okay, I want the student to do the second circle. Okay, wanna try? Okay. Yes. This way. Okay. Thank you, yeah. So we have second friends, six in five centimeters and in the area. 64.5 cm square. Okay, is that correct? Correct. Yes, that's correct. Thank you, Gia. You really good. That's a good job. Okay, so then after we know about the formula of circumference and area, we will move to discuss about art and sector. Okay, Ms. Alia, time is yours. Okay, next, we will learn about art and sector. What is an art? Actually, art is the cure, the joining two points around the circumference of a circle. So, in this picture, we have point A and point B. So, the art is the right cure, the joining point A and point B. So, talking about art, we also have the central angles. In this picture, we have O. Okay? Because R is a part of the circumference of the circle, uh, we can calculate the R length using the formula of the circumference. So, to calculate the R length, we need to know about the central angle. So, if we 
the formula of the part plan is if you have zero angle theta upper 360 degrees times p e pi times diameter. So if we have the theta equals 90 degrees and the diameter equals 28 centimeters, the arc length will be 90 degrees upper 360 degrees times pi times the diameter is 28 centimeters. So you can calculate this. So we have the arc length equals 7 pi centimeter. Okay, next we move to sector. What is sector? Sector is a part of the area of the circle that bounded by two ready and one arc. So this is two kind of sector. This is major sector and minor sector. The major sector is when the central angle is more than 180 degrees and the minor sector is when the central angle less than 180 degrees. So this pink area is the sector. Uh, because the sector is part of the area of the circle, so we can calculate the sector area also. The formula to calculate the sector area is theta, if you have theta in the central angle, upper 360 degrees times pi times r squared. So this is the formula of the area of circle. Okay? Okay. So if you have the central angle equals 90 degrees and the radius equals 40 centimeter, we can calculate the sector area by this formula. Okay. So sector area will be 90 degrees upper 360 degrees times pi times r 40 squared. 40 times 40. So we have calculate this one four seven. So the sector area will be 49 centimeters p pi centimeters squared. Do you understand, student? Yes. Okay, after we study about today's material, about circle, about art, about sector, uh, we have quiz time. Are you ready, student? Ready. I will divide this class by two groups. Uh, this side is group A and this side is group B. So you can discuss with your group about this question and if you have done discussing, you can raise your hand and uh, write the answer in front of the class. Okay? Are you understand? Yes, I yes. understand. Okay, this is the first question. Okay, you can discuss it with your group. Okay. Five minutes, okay? Okay. Okay, next to the second question. Okay, student, what we have learned today? Yes, ma'am. We have learned about the part of circle and then the formula of area and circumference and also the art and sector, right? Okay, right. Thank you, Irfan. So, okay, after we learned about this material, I hope you have exercise at home so you can improve your knowledge and you can do the exam well, okay? Okay. Okay. That's all for today's material. So before we close our class, uh, we will pray together first. Okay, pray with you.
finished. Thanks for attending this class and see you. See you. See you.